This all started this morning when a woman was shot and killed on Lincoln Avenue in Springfield Township. Police say the suspect died after a pursuit and a shooting involving police just north of Indianapolis. WLWT News 5's Lindsay Stone joins us live from the Springfield Township Police Department with what we're learning about how all of this unfolded. Lindsay. Yeah, good evening, Chris. So neighbors say they heard gunshots ring out just before 7 o'clock this morning. And since then, what transpired over the next few hours actually crossed state lines and have left the community shaken. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, today we're doing a deep dive into that Springfield Township incident from November 18th. Yeah. And, um, you know, we want to look into the news footage we have or the court records and, uh, and even some social media posts yeah. to kind of figure out what happened. It's a tough one. Makes you think about how domestic violence can get so bad so fast. Yeah. And, you know, it's just crazy. A shooting right there in what seems like a totally quiet condo complex. Right. 33-year-old Lucretia Black found dead right outside. Oh. And the news footage, oh, man, it's chaotic. You know what gets me is this peaceful community. And then this happens. Yeah. It really shakes people up, you know? Yeah. Like that neighbor talking about the bullet hole in her window. That really gets to me like how violence just spreads out and you don't feel safe. Yeah, it's scary because you start thinking this could happen anywhere, even in places you think are safe. Exactly. Then you've got that 911 call from the guy who was with Lucretia. Oh, yeah. He's calling her his caretaker and he seems really confused about who even shot her. Yeah, you see that a lot in these cases. Things happen so fast and it's just chaos trying to put it all together. So they quickly figure out that it was Terria Brown, Lucretia's wife, who's the suspect. Okay. They got married December 2023. The court records back that up. But this wasn't like just a normal marriage gone wrong. Right. Lucretia's friend told us that their relationship was really rocky. Lots of fighting. Oh, wow. And that Terria was maybe controlling her. We even used the term female narcissist to describe her. Now, we can't really diagnose anybody from what we know, but it does sound like there might have been some red flags, like yeah. manipulation and control, which is sad to say, pretty common in these abusive relationships. It makes you wonder if anyone had noticed those warning signs. Maybe this could have been prevented. That's a good question. It's something to think about as we go through everything else that happened. So Terry takes off from the scene in a 2014 Chevy Cruze. Okay. And that's what starts this crazy high-speed chase that ends near State Route 28. That chase is interesting because it sounds like Terry might have been really desperate or panicking after the shooting. And then it ends in this confrontation with the police gunfire back and forth. Wow. Shots from Terry's car, then the officers fire back. So many questions there. Was it self-defense? Was she just lashing out? Yeah. We know the Indiana State Police took over, and they did find a gun in Taria's car, but the news report doesn't say who shot first. That's a problem you see a lot with these police shootings. Yeah. It makes it really hard to know exactly what went down and hold people accountable. It's true. And for the people left behind, it's got to be so hard not knowing the whole story. Then you've got these Facebook posts from Lucretia's close friend. They give you a look into what their relationship was really like in a way you don't get from the official reports. You can really hear the emotion in those posts. Like, yeah. the friend is grieving, but she also feels like she needs to say something. Right. She says she heard Lucretia begging for her life on the phone and thinks she was trying to leave Tyria. And she even says that Tyria unhooked Lucretia's car battery to stop her from leaving. If that's true, it's another sign that Tyria was trying to control Lucretia. Makes you think about how dangerous it can be when someone tries to leave an abusive relationship. Yeah. Leaving is when things can get really bad. It's important to understand that as we try to understand what happened that day. It's just heartbreaking to imagine what Lucretia was going through. This also makes me think about how important it is to have people you can turn to for help if you're in a situation like this. Absolutely. But before we get into that, I think we need to look at what this did to the people in Springfield Township. I mean, this whole thing has really shaken up the community. The news showed just how shocked everyone was, especially the people who live nearby. Yeah, I can imagine. It wasn't just some story on TV for them. Right. It was violence happening right where they live. Yeah, and that neighbor finding that bullet hole in her window really shows you how scary and messed up things can be long after it's over. Makes you wonder how a community can even start to heal after something like this. It's a process, that's for sure. It takes supporting people, helping them cope, and then rebuilding that feeling of safety and trust. Right. Things like support groups talking it out and having resources for people who went through something traumatic. It also really brings home the whole issue of domestic violence, something you don't always see. Right. It affects so many people everywhere. 
And the saddest thing is that there are almost always signs, things you can notice but maybe get missed. You mentioned female narcissist earlier. Can yeah. you tell us more about what that means? Sure. Now, remember, I can't just diagnose someone from the information we have. But when Lucretia's friend used that term, she was probably talking about those controlling behaviors, okay. that manipulation and lack of empathy. You see it sometimes with narcissistic personality disorder. But it's important to be careful with labels. Yeah. The main point is that those words could mean there were serious problems in that relationship, problems that needed attention. So what can we learn from all of this? What can we take away to maybe prevent something like this from happening again? I think the biggest thing is realizing how important it is to step in early. You have to recognize those signs of an abusive relationship, right? whether it's physical or emotional or mental abuse. It's crucial. We need to learn about these patterns ourselves, teach our families, and make our communities more aware. And we need to make it safe for people to come forward if they need help. Exactly. We can't have people suffering in silence. There are resources out there, hotlines, shelters, groups that can be a lifeline for people stuck in bad situations. And we need to address the bigger issues too, right? Like poverty, not enough mental health services, and those ideas in society that say it's okay to be abusive. It's about attacking this problem from all sides. We need programs to prevent it, support for law enforcement, and ways to make sure victims have legal protection and the help they need. It's definitely a tough issue. No easy answers. Yeah. But this case shows us just how serious it is and how we can't just ignore it. Absolutely. The loss of Lucretia Black and Taria Brown is a tragedy. It shows the real cost of domestic violence and why we have to work hard to stop it from happening again.